MFA Updates. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Radio Thailand MFA Update Program. I am Kimmy p a n i k n i c h a k r a r e k Today's edition features Mrs. k r o n g k a n i t r a k t a r e n the Director General of the Department of European Affairs, discussing the UK Foreign Secretary's visit to Thailand. The Foreign Affairs That Matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. Hello, k u n k r a n g k a n i t It is my pleasure to talk to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Regarding Lord Cameron of c h i p i n g Norton's visit to Thailand as the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs of the United Kingdom, this time the United Kingdom intends to officially elevate Thai and UK relations to a strategic partnership level. If handled well, how will this benefit Thailand and the Thai people, and in what ways, please? The United Kingdom is the first country in Europe that Thailand has announced um, strategic partnership relations with. Mm-hmm. So, and Thailand and the UK agreed to announce these important relations during the official visit to Thailand, Lord Cameron, Foreign Secretary of the United Kingdom, which is a very timely visit. Mm-hmm. Firstly, because it took place. After the new Thai government uh, took office and um, announced its new policy, and also re- recently announced the Ignite Thailand vision. Secondly, next year will be the 170th anniversary of Thailand United Kingdom diplomatic relationship. Mm-hmm. So the announcement to elevate the relationship to a strategic partnership with the signing of the roadmap was therefore an important milestone for the Thai and UK governments to set the direction for mm-hmm. the mutually beneficial relationship and will benefit greatly to the people of both countries. So, um, this strategic partnership with the United Kingdom will strengthen cooperation in various dimensions, such as in the area of politics and security. For instance, Thailand is facing a threat of cybercrime, so Thailand can see capacity building in this field from the UK. And on the economic front, the strategic partnership will also enhance bilateral trade. Most importantly, the roadmap. Will pave the way for the establishment of the Thailand-United Kingdom free trade agreement mm-hmm. in the very near future. And on the science and technology as well, mm-hmm. the roadmap will increase Thailand's access to new technology and also innovations of the United Kingdom, who everybody knows that is one of the leaders in technology and innovations of the world. Thank you very much. And in terms of the Thai-UK bilateral relationship, are there any new areas of cooperation that Thailand seeks to put forward and expand upon? Thailand has cooperation with the UK in almost every area for a very long time because our our relationship is now almost 170 years. Mm-hmm. So, however, the world is currently facing many challenges, both traditional and non-traditional threats, including the issue of climate change, the outbreak of emerging infectious diseases, and also geopolitics. All, all of these threats have caused Thailand to review and seek partners to tackle these problems, both bilaterally and also multilaterally. Yes. So, on the emerging infectious diseases, recently Thailand has been working with the UK in the fight against the COVID-19 outbreak and the development um, of the medical knowledge and also health technology in many fields mm-hmm. already. So, but anyway, um, health and medicine will continue to be one of the target industries that Thailand will invite UK to explore investment opportunities. And also, we wish to seek um, cooperation more in the fields of pharmaceutical industry, innovation, mm-hmm. medical devices, precision uh, medicine, and also um, genomics. And Thailand, or we want to also wants to promote cooperation in um, new technology and research funding, mm-hmm. especially in the areas of vaccine production, mm-hmm. and also, like I mentioned, the genomics, which is very very important for uh, future medicine. Right. And in the area of multilateral relations, are there any particular issues where Thailand and the United Kingdom can jointly put forward? ASEAN outlook on Indo-Pacific policy. 
Yep. While the United Kingdom has the Indo-Pacific Tilt Policy, mm-hmm. both have the same objectives. Um, which is to promote stability and peace in the Indo-Pacific region. Mm-hmm. The UK is also the latest dialogue partner in ASEAN as well. So, considering this, Thailand and UK can play a very constructive role together in the region. L- let me explain a bit about the Indo-Pacific tilt. Yeah. Um, this policy actually is part of the, the of the wider policy. It's global Britain policy which uh, was launched after the UK referendum held in June 2016 to leave the EU. And the UK wants to seek uh, more cooperation with the with Eastern countries, let's say, and wishes to be an active partner, a dependable partner for countries in the Indo-Pacific. Mm-hmm. So this, um, we can, with, with this vision, we can definitely play a constructive role together in this region. And um, moreover... Um, Thailand and the UK can also cooperate in the United Nations framework, for instance, on climate change issues. Thailand and the um, United Kingdom can cooperate in the United Nations framework convention on climate change. Mm-hmm. So this is also um, one of the, let's say, the areas that we can cooperate uh, multilaterally. Let me conclude by emphasizing that Lord Cameron's decision to visit Thailand as the first country in Mm Indo-Pacific reflects the UK's view that Thailand is one of the important strategic countries in the Indo-Pacific region. Thailand looks at the United Kingdom as a close partner, both bilaterally in ASEAN as well, and also in other important multilateral frameworks. All right. Nice to talk to you, Kun Kran Kanit. Thank you for more details on this occasion, the UK Foreign Secretary's visit to Thailand. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Foreign Affairs That Matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA Updates. That's it for today's MFA Update program. You can always find us on YouTube channel MFA Thailand and on Facebook pages Radio Thailand World Service and FM88 Radio Thailand English. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me. I am Kimmy Panik Nisakrayrek. See you again until next time. สวัสดีค่ะ. MFA Updates.